Hi, how are you doing? Okay, Rossini's Il Turco in Italia. Another chance to enjoy and have fun with a composer with the greatest sense of humor in the history of the opera. The play is quick, brilliant, happy, and without any intellectual complexes. Come on. When you listen to Rossini's music, you always end up with a smile in your face, for is the reason he had such a great success and he could retire when he was only 31. Let's start with the opening, because in the opening we can already detect Rossini's whole style. Just listen to this. As I said to you, quick, brilliant and happy. And now the voices. Let's listen to the first duet between the two main characters, Selim and Fiorilla. <laughs> listen to this music. When you're listening to this music, you can feel the love, the passion, the conflict, the curiosity between the two characters. Can you feel it? They're up to something. Can you feel it? Yes, you can. And now, wait, wait a minute. They are singing the whole time coloratura. What is the coloratura? Coloratura is this. Are all these little notes? All these little notes around the main notes. You got it? It is very, very, very difficult, but at the same time, it is 100% racing. In Turco in Italy, it's a great entertainment. We find characters coming in and out, confusions, misunderstandings, and unexpected twists. And musically, it generates an extremely high number of duets, trios, quartets. But Il Turco in Italia has another peculiarity. It is the story of a character who's writing at the same time the story we are seeing. This is like Pirandello, but before Pirandello. If Rossini's work are already funny and complicated, imagine this one. Therefore, I say Rossini is the composer of good humor. But not only this, Rossini is such a great composer, he is so intelligent that he is even able to laugh at himself. And before ending, one more thing. The opera was first performed in 1814, but this will be the first time ever at the Liceo. So it is a unique opportunity to enjoy this masterpiece of Rossini. See you at the Liceo.